hey, what's up, it's Deanna. And so I have my surgeon's gloves on because I have to fix this 1930s Knickerbocker teddy bear. It's an American bear made out of mohair, fully jointed. And so he's missing an eye. Um, maybe he had a sparring fight with somebody down in Brooklyn. Who knows? He was uh, busting around and some guy came along and just knocked his eye out. And so, yeah, there goes my New York accent. It's flaring up again. Sorry. <laughs> I know it grates on a lot of people's nerves. I can't help it. It was born, born this way. So this bear needs to look like this bear. These are uh, Knickerbocker bears from the 20s and 30s. It's in my uh, teddy bear encyclopedia. So we need to get it looking like this. This is actually the musical bear that they had back in the day. And that's what this is. This is a musical teddy. And the music box doesn't work either. I can actually buy a replacement music box and actually um, just open up a few stitches on the back of the bear and replace it, which I will be doing also. So nonetheless, i got to find an eye that matches this eye, which is probably going to be quite impossible. I have to go through my uh, collection of teddy bear eyes and see if I can match it up. If not, I'm unfortunately going to have to remove this eye. So I'm going to have to do major eye surgery and uh, find a matching pair. So stay tuned and let's see what I can find in my bag of tricks. So here's my bag of eyes for the eye transplant we're about to do. And let's see if we have any matchers. So I'm gonna have to like dump out this whole bag. Jeez Louise, all right. I feel like Goldilocks, get it, <laughs> in the three bears. This is too small. <laughs> I gotta find the one that's just right. Hang on, I'm going through my bag of tricks. And it doesn't look good. Oh no. Wait, this is like stuck in here, all right. Too small. All right, let me just dump this whole damn thing out. Okay, what do we got here? This, maybe. All right, we'll have to put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> I have maybe piles, this is too small. Darn it. Okay, wait, oh, I think we got a winner. Hold on, how many millimeters are these? 12 millimeter. I really need probably 13 millimeter. Let's see. Oh, I found 13 millimeter. <laughs> I buy like teddy bear eyes in bulk. So when I get an antique, I cannot. I was rudely interrupted. I locked my husband out by accident. Okay, so the biggest I have in this pile of eyes happens to be 13 millimeters, and that's not big enough actually, which is sort of a bummer because I do not feel like ordering eyes and having the weight. But I do have one last option here, and maybe this might be the winning eye. Let me open this up and see if this eye is big enough. Okay, so the biggest eye I have is 13 millimeter. The eye on the right over here is my 13 millimeter eye. This eye looks way bigger than 13 millimeters. And the only other eye I have is this one. And let me see, this might be our eye. Let me just take this one out. This is a bit of a pain in the butt. Now I'm trying to get the eye out. Eye surgery with one hand while filming with the other is never easy. So let me just, this is a, on a wire. Maybe I could just stick this in and see if it'll look all right with the other eye. <laughs> There's eyes everywhere. All right, so the one on the wire was basically the one that was closest to the original eye, which is that one, but it's still bothering me. I have like one of those personalities. I have like perfectionist personality <laughs> and, and that's basically my downfall. I guess I'm going to leave it. It still bothers me because I know most people would probably look at it and not even notice. It actually looks better now that he has another eye, but I might be able to order another eye on the internet that's larger than this eye because this one's slightly too small as compared to his original, but he still looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix his music box and uh, replace it. It already has an opening in the back right there. I don't know if you can see it. One of the stitches opens up on the lining. And I can actually remove this old broken music box. And I can replace it with a newer music box with the key. And I might do that. It might cost me like $10 just to replace that. And so once again, I think this teddy bear is actually whole, although his eyes don't match and it's bothering my personality disorder that I have that everything has to be just so and uh, yeah it's like what is that called OCD yeah 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 I think I have OCD <laughs> so nonetheless this teddy bear really doesn't care he now has eyes he's from the 30s and he's looking good he's actually looking real good so 
yeah, I guess I have to put all these eyes away now. That is not fun. So once again, thanks for watching this old 1930s Knickerbocker. Actually, have eye surgery and have a great day. Oh, I couldn't help it. Just had to show you what he looked like with his new bow. I gave him a, a pretty pink, uh, actually peach bow, and he actually looks really sweet. Okay, just had to throw that in there. Take care.